Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We're here with Quick Hits. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. I keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. We're going to have a fun show today. Uh, the pay-per-view numbers are in for Terrence Crawford versus David Avenison, and they are big. Well, no, they're not. They're really, really small. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, Quick Hits comes at you 8 to 10 minutes every day. Please uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, blog. Also, subscribe to other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing yeah. Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. It's very near and dear to our heart. Uh, so please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. It's a growing channel um, on YouTube. Guys, let's get into today's show. <laughs> oh, boy, this is funny today. Um, Terrence Crawford versus David Avenisi. The numbers are in. Um, you, you, we, we thought they were going to be small. You know, I, I thought 100,000 would be a big win. But what we're seeing, it ain't that. We're looking, I've heard 14 to 15,000 pay per view buys. <laughs> now, um, we remember a Crawford pay per view uh, years ago that did 50,000. Said Crawford's not a pay per view star. Uh, this did 15,000. Crawford's not a pay per view star. I don't know why we keep doing this. Um, he doesn't like to self promote, he doesn't like to sell himself. So, this is what he's going to do. He's going to continue to embarrass himself. Crawford is an excellent fighter, hell of a fighter, Hall of Fame fighter, first ballot Hall of Famer, arguably the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Although, I wouldn't put him there. I've put him there in the past. I, I think he has lost a little bit of a step. Um, this fight against David Avedisian was ridiculous. It was a joke. It was trash. He fights once a year. Uh, he's fought one good, one top notch welterweight. Uh, he's in, you know, the biggest money division in the sport besides maybe the heavyweight division. And he fights Cal Brook. He fights Amir Khan. He fights Mean Machine. And he fights David Avedisian. I mean, it's a joke right now with Terrence Crawford. Um, he's wasted away his career. He's pissed away his career. He doesn't sell himself. He doesn't promote himself. He does nothing to help himself other than be an amazing, nearly Flawless, perfect fighter. Uh, besides that, he does nothing to help his brand, help himself grow. Um, so this is what you get. You get 14, 15,000 pay-per-view buys. Uh, Black Prime, which aired the, which aired the, the fight, um, said the numbers came in above what they expected. I don't know what they expected. Did they expect 10, 12,000? Did they expect 1,000? How much did this beat their expectations by? Um, I don't know if any of you guys bought this. Obviously, you guys didn't. I don't know if anyone who listened to this bought this, but it was uh, you know it, it was Saturday night. It was up against the TV Lopez fight, which a million people watched um, on ESPN after the Heisman. Um, you know, I thought it might do a little better number following the Heisman. It didn't. It is what it is. Uh, but it, it was you know it, it this was a, the, the Lopez Martin fight ended up being it was competitive. But it wasn't a great fight. Uh, it was close competitive, but it wasn't a great fight. The Crawford fight was a joke. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you streamed it after the fight or if you watched it since. But you know, I, did anyone actually leave in the comments if you if you bought the pay per view, and then leave in the comments if if you actually watched it at all? Um, you know, these Terrence Crawford fights are are, are a bad joke right now. Um, you know. It, it's good that he's done what he did at one. And again, and this is no shade for Terrence Crawford. You know, uh, Floyd May was the, was the pound for pound king up until he retired. Then, you know, Andre Ward took that mantle. Um, and then he retired. And then that mantle was given to Terrence Crawford. He was the pound for pound king for a while. Um, he got passed up by Usyk in a way, perhaps now, um, and Canelo because they fight good fighters. And we know that, um, Sorry, Crawford does not fight good fighters. He fights David Avenisian, Amir Khan, Kel Brook, Mean Machine, guys like that. He doesn't fight the best guys out there. Um, you could say it's top ranks full, but he's not with top rank. He also didn't promote himself. He doesn't sell himself. Other top rank fighters fight big names on other sides of the street. Um, Crawford doesn't do that. He likes to complain um, that he doesn't get these fights. Um, 
So this is where we are with Terrence Crawford. He's 35 years old. His best days are behind him. Um, he's who knows if he'll ever fight Spence. He probably won't. Um, that leaves Virgil Ortiz or uh, Boots Enos as possible fights, or you know um, Crawford. Uh, I'm sorry, Ortiz versus Stanionis. Whoever wins that, I'm, I'm assuming Virgil Ortiz beats up Stanionis. Uh, but we could talk about that, and we'll do a show on that. Um, but there's just you know. This is where we are at Crawford. This, this is the type of fights he makes. Um, he doesn't fight top guys. He doesn't fight anywhere near top guys. The only one he's got on his resume. Uh, the only top name he's beaten since going up to welterweight in 2018 is uh, Sean Porter. Really good fight. He came back. He stopped him. Kudos to him again. None, none of my knocks on Crawford have anything to do with what he does in the ring. In, in, in the ring. Um, he's an all-time great fighter. Um, he, he's arguably the best fighter post Mayweather. I, I think he is the best, you can argue, the best American fighter for sure post Mayweather. So I'm not knocking him as a fighter in any standpoint, but this is what he does. You know, he's uh, content with uh, fighting B and C level guys, and he's content with B and C level uh, money. And so he'll uh, his legacy will reflect that. He never stepped up. And again, I don't blame him entirely. For, the, for what happened with the Spence fight, um, I, I don't, you know, PBC, they were taking all back end money, entirely back end money. Um, they got paid only what the pay per view produced. Um, and he wanted them to open the books because obviously they paid off uh, the net, not the gross. Um, so he wanted to stay, see what PBC was writing off. They didn't want to show him that. From what he claims, if, if what he claims is correct, I, I think he's got considerable beef. I think he's got considerable beef. Um, but that fight didn't happen. And, you know, he's been in, in, in division now, going on five years. And this is this is what he does. He fights uh, David Avenesian. Um, You know, he could have fought Boots. He could have fought Ortiz. He could have fought any number of fighters. He chose David Avenesian. Um you know, uh, we can debate the reason. We can, you know, whatever. But it, it's really immaterial. Um, he fights David Avedisi. He fights Cal Brook. He fights Amir Khan. He fights, you know, David Benavides. He fights. This is who he fights. You know, he's got Porter, so kudos to him. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it's evident that he's not interested in, in fighting the best guys out there. Um, so it's. So, you know, when you're not willing to fight the best, I, I don't know why you would expect people to buy your fights. Why would you expect the best for them? Why would you expect them to shell out their hard-earned money when you're not willing um, to earn, you know, to earn yours uh, against the best? You know, you, you want to fight easy fights. You want to take this fight. Then why would people pay for that? Seriously. Why would people pay to watch you fight, you know, B-level fighters. You know, we are in a tough economy. Um, there's something like 40% of Americans are worried about paying a utility bill. And you want them to take their money in the holiday season and spend it on you to watch you fight David Avenistian. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, so, uh, um, actually, kudos to you boxing fans who didn't buy this. Um, obviously, this is a, it was a ridiculous hit review. Uh, I, 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 if you guys want to support Black Prime or whatever, I, I, I don't blame you. Obviously, not too many of you did. It sold 14, 15,000 pay per views. So no one really cared. Um, and I, good for you guys. Don't, don't buy crap like this. It's, it's not good for the sport. Um, you know, if you were to buy, you're encouraging, in a way, Crawford to fight these fights. You're encouraging bad behavior. Um, so don't do it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think Crawford is basically done now? As uh, you know, he's 35. Is he past his prime? Is he on the downhill? Uh, are these the type of fights that we can expect from him from now on, or do you think he'll step up and fight any of the top welterweights, you know, whether it be Spence, whether it be Thurman, Virgil Ortiz, uh, Boots Enos, any guy like that, or do you think he's going to relegate these kind of names and just kind of end his career fighting? Um, you know, what he's been fighting the last several years, which is once a year against you know nondescript 
fighters or past their prime fighters. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think. Again, quick hits comes at you every day, eight ten minutes a day. Please subscribe to Texas uh, quick, uh, 3D Boxing blog, all forms of social media, also Texas Boxing Scene, um, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Um, and all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is December 13th, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.